Welcome back to the lab, guys. Today, I'm going to be kind of diving in a little bit deeper into group policy. We're going to go ahead and jump into a thing called item level targeting. In item level targeting, I'm just going to let you know right now, it can get pretty intense, but we're going to be going over the basics. I'm just going to kind of go ahead and deploy a printer. We're going to show you guys how it can be assigned to a security group, to a network, and several other ways. So stick around. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm going to jump right in. As I explained earlier, I've already got my server up over here on the left-hand side. I've got group policy management open. I've got the folder for a group policy object showing all my group policy objects here inside of my domain. We're going to go ahead and uh, start off with, you know, just creating a very basic group policy object. We're going to want to deploy a printer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and right over here, we're going to left click, sorry, right click, start a new group policy. We're going to call this Bodhi-Printers. All right, go ahead and click OK right click the new GPO that we just made let's go ahead and click edit it's gonna bring up the edit tab now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach this with as I was saying earlier item level targeting I'm gonna use a security group basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using a security group to allow people to have this printer assigned to them meaning that if they're a part of this security group it will automatically go ahead and install the drivers and map the printer to them so the way that's done is we go over here we go down to our user configuration and underneath preferences Windows settings Sorry, control panel settings. Let me actually back up here. Control panel settings, you're going to go right over here. See where it says printers? We're going to right click. We're going to click new. We're going to have a shared printer put in. We're going to go ahead and find this printer. Now this printer I've already set up as a print, as a shared printer on this print server. So I actually have my DC set up as a print server. Um, I'll have another video at some point probably going over how to set up the print management roles so that you can actually set up and share printers out via the Active Directory so they're easy f you know, for users to basically find or easy for you to deploy with a group policy. So go ahead, I'm going to grab this one. We're going to set it as the default printer, and I'm going to basically say that if there's not a local printer the person has set up, set this as their default printer. Sometimes you don't want to do that. Sometimes, you know, you may have department set. They, that's where you want them to go. I completely understand. I have been through there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on common. And right over here, this is what we're worried about here, guys. This, this is what this whole video is about, item level targeting. We can go ahead and click that. Click. Now, see how that lit up? See? Look. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So now, look, go ahead and click targeting. Now look, we've got our targeting editor. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to go ahead and select a security group. Now what this allows us to do is, is the user is a member of this security group, they're going to get this printer. So we're going to go ahead now, click the three little dots over here. We're going to go ahead and look the security group up that we want to. And if I remember correctly, I think I want to just do my Bodhi users. I believe that's a, yep, there we go. So what that means is that anybody that's been a part of the Bodhi users group will automatically have this printer deployed for them. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. There you go. Puts in the group. It even goes ahead and enters the SID for you right there. Makes it a primary group. Go ahead and click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. Boom. You've now just set up a printer to be item level targeting for security group. Now, we can take this a step further, actually. And this is another way I've done item level targeting. I'm going to go ahead and go back into this printer real quick. We're going to go back into common. We're going to go into targeting. And I actually want to go ahead and get rid of this we're going to go as there's no target right now. Now, this is another really neat way to actually deploy things. IP address range. Now, the reason this is great is that say you've got locations out there and you already know, okay, these five printers are at this location. These four are here. These are over here. What this allows you to do is say, okay, if somebody gets an IP address between this range, which you already know, you know, this location here uses the IP range of 192 or 10 dot, whatever, you know, what it happens is, is you can actually go ahead and say, I want this IP range to this IP range, if they have that, an IP in there, they're going to go ahead and get this printer deployed. So what you're allowed to do then is you can go ahead and create printer deployment GPOs or you can add printers into a single GPO and just basically have a Bodhi printers as I did GPO. Now that GPO can have every printer in the company in it and basically the printers will only be deployed based off the IP address if you actually select this here. So. That's you know two of the main ways that you can use item level targeting. I'm going to go over some other things right here. There's a lot of other ways you can use things. Terminal sessions, you can do it by user. You know you can do regis registry match. You can do computer names. So if a computer name comes up, it'll have it happen. So just kind of look around. There's another one domain here. So also 
if you do a transit of trust, you have any kind of trust relationship between domains, you can also make it where if a certain domain happens, it basically will apply it. So kind of get around, look around in your Active Directory, guys, play around with item level targeting. It's a very powerful tool. It can really help you out with not only deploying, you know, printers, but deploying map drives and any other things. So take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll see you in the lab.